Welcome back to Alias Teacher TV. It's a new year and it's a new video with Alias 2024.1. This is the version I'm using for this tutorial. And what we want to do is create a model of a longboard, something like that. This one is a stable diffusion picture, so AI helped me also to create this one. Um, but we start with alias modeling, and alias modeling looks finally like that. I will show you how to create the model and also about how to create this picture of stable diffusion. So let's see and let's start. And it, to the very beginning, I have prepared a canvas picture like this. And this is how we start modeling, which you can find in the download section, um, which is in the link at the bottom. So download this one and also download the user profile. And let's begin. All right, so after you load it, uh, my user preference, so here we go, add profile and then switch it on the Teacher TV user profile, then you get the same environment that I have. And now we open the model where we want to create our longboard, which is the longboard start model. As we can see here, it comes delete, like goes everything else, and it comes like that. Now, what is the first step? The first step is the so-called retopology tool, which is this icon, the green one. And I click on it and I hit twice the space bar. I want to explain maybe later, but in this case, we only need the points. And I start clicking all the green dots all along the outer boundary here on one side and here in the corner. And now corresponding on the other sides in symmetry somehow, Approximately, let's guess. Um, here we go and have the other ones set up. And with shift button, I can create patches in between. Every four points create one patch of a sub D. I can switch on shading so I can see what's happening. And we shift again, I can get a center line for it. And this center line, I can drag the front point most forward point here and also maybe drag the last point a little bit and that's it almost so i go in the other view i go to marking menu pick object pick the whole thing and now what i want to do is that it creates always in symmetry or works in symmetry which is this button here symmetry modeling um it asks me about history so i say yes i want to forget about it the most important is that it's in symmetry and as what it happens is if you pick one point and you go up then the other corresponding point on the other side goes up also so i do an undo shift set and pick nothing of course because i don't want to do that but what i want to do is pick the cvs in the back and move them all of them a little up even marking menu middle mouse button transform a little bit so that I have this upward shape and now I need some thickness for the whole thing so I pick the whole thing and click on thickness and I get a gizmo here in the front and I can make a very thick one or a thinner one so just guess what is good looking for this deck and additionally I don't like the sharp edge here especially on the top so I need a smoother edge and I pick the edge loops all around here this one and additionally here in the front I have to click and in the back also and I go to the command called bevel bevel on the left mouse button drags a smooth shape and with the middle mouse button it, the shape itself so it's it starts with a canvas and if I go up, it has now a middle point and gets a round shape, which is enough for us. So that's what we want. Maybe not as uh, thick or the width is too much. So I go with the left mouse button a little bit sharper. And then I'm finished. And I say, all right, this is my deck. Now I put the deck on a separate layer, which we have in the object lister here. So I, with plus, I can create a new layer, which I call deck. And to get the whole deck on it is I pick it, the object and go with right mouse button on an assign. And now it's on it. I can switch it on and off. 
so what's next uh the wheel i would create first a new layer for it and double click on it and name it wheel and then i go to top view for sure closer to the front wheel here and what i need is a cylinder which we can find in subdivision within the palette there are these basic shapes like toruses planes boxes and also cylinders and I go there and click in the middle here somewhere go to s for scaling and left mouse button and make it approximately the correct shape now I need to rotate it with 90 degrees so here we go and we go to our information window marking menu left no right mouse button to be correct and then it's a rotation in the matrix here we go to 90 in x axis which is the red one of course so now we are correct we can switch on our controls now and pick the edge loop that means we want to extrude now the center area here i extruding normal to the existing shape so i go inward here which is the first step here in in uh, extruding now the second extrude is a global extrude so I switch to global extrude and then I need a scaling because it should be come inward but flat and I switch on the boxes for, for scaling and I use the center box and make it smaller like that so I go inward now oops here we go to have some rim-like uh, shape here and then of course I can hit spacebar and do another scaled shape inward maybe to close it somehow all right so this is our wheel I switch on symmetry now I have both sides of the wheel and we can see the deck is far too low so I need to pick the deck and move it up I can use moving or transforming I I prefer transforming because then there is a gizmo and you see what you do and here we go and of course it has four wheels usually so we need the wheel in back so I pick the front wheel and make a control C control V and a transform and move the one to the back this is the copy of the front wheel and here we go so we have that one and what else center I have to do the closing of this wheel on the other side because I forgot so I pick the edge loop here again and I do a normal extrusion and I just want to go inward so it's the green arrow I go in a little bit as I did before then I switch to global I switch to the scaled extrusion which is this one and I go inward and to close that hole here I use the command called fill hole which I click on here and then everything is closed that looks a bit better than than before so I have to just create the copies again so I delete these ones and I copy those ones in the front again Control C Control V and I make a transform of course again and move them towards the back so that's a lot better I guess oops it came back so here we go that's where they should be and now we focus on creating the correct axis in the middle here somehow I create a new layer which I call axis of course and now I start positioning a cylinder again but this time I double click because what I want to do is I want to have some additional uh subdivisions and in set direction I need more I need a minimum of four I would say uh, let's say maybe five would be better um I put in using control uh and then scale it to the size which has the original and as you can see now we have some additional subdivisions which we need uh to get the correct shape so I go to information window as I did before I just hit in the rotation of x-axis and I do a 90 degree rotation as before I go to transform again I move towards the middle somehow I go to front view to be 
it more exact and I just put it downward. And now I need, of course, a scaling again. And this time I hit this one, hit there, make it smaller, and then make it wider so that it touches my wheels. Maybe that's even too uh, big. So I make it a little tinier and then stretch it again. So that looks probably pretty nice. And now I need some picking of the faces in the middle. So that means I have to pick first the complete axis cylinder, switch on its controls, and then I pick the faces in the middle. So I take the face, which is on top here, this one. I go closer because it's not so easy to see. And this one, and sometimes it helps you if you switch to the box mode, um, because then it's a lot easier to see. So I go to box mode, double click, and there we can set the transparency or not. So in this time, I don't need a transparency. I switch it up and then I click another sub D face here. Now we can make an extrusion upward. Um, to have the same thing than we did uh, than we did have in the yeah in in, in the video uh, I take all of them here all six of them uh, and do an extrusion so I do an global extrusion and I take it upward then I flatten it using that blue box and if I have flattened it I can hit spacebar and make a second step for the extrusion. And then I can just make a size towards this direction and a little size towards the other direction, or even just rotate a little bit to bend it somehow. And yeah, that's up to you what you want to have as a design for this. And then I have to go upward again. So another hit space bar and I go up. And now I have that shape, which looks pretty facey, but it's because box mode for sure. When I switch to shading again, I can see what happens. So not really uh, perfect at the moment because I have to I haven't got a, a flat area on top. So what I need now is I need to flatten the upper area, which we do by picking the edge loop all around the top area. So it must be this one, then the one in the back and the one which goes along the sides, this side and on that side, and I crease it. So now it gets a sharp edge and then it's possible to have it here. If you like, you can even make it transform again to, to influence the shape and it makes a bit more of a stylish shape like that, probably, I don't know. All right, so we have finished with the axis two, and we can take this piece of work and make a copy and a paste and transform it to the back. Go to left view and put it here. And now we're ready and we finished our longboard. So we made it in modeling, but just finally, I want to show you a little trick, which is very, very helpful. And for all of those who are still watching this video, this is the bonus. And well, what we do is we move the deck a little more upward. And now we want to snap this axis, two pieces of axis up to the deck. So what we do is we pick both of the axes, switch on the controls. Now using all the upmost points of the axis with picking, oh, picking CVs of this. So on this side and also on that side. So remember it's, it's all of them in the upper level here. And now we have to snap them upward to that line here. How can we do that? Yeah, it's, it's just moving. And then with control, Alt and right mouse button on the lower line snaps up. That's pretty easy. You get it right in a second and everything is fixed now. And here is our final result for our model.
watch out for the part two, which shows how we do a nice screenshot with materials of alias and then improve this one with stable diffusion for a photorealistic picture of our longboard. Watch out for part two.